third party situation are they going to break up will they break up or are they going to stay together what on earth is going on in the third party situation relationship what you need to know a little bit of an energy check as well we're mainly looking at whether the person in the middle of all of this is going to leave the other person to be with you that's basically what we're looking at are they going to break up and come to you are they going to remove the third party from this whole situation so i'm going to do a pick a card reading for pick a card read number one we've got the ride away smith tarot deck pick a card read number two we've got the ink and intuition tarot deck and then pick a card read number three we've got the modern witch tarot deck let's do a card selection meditation if you'd like to close your eyes push all the air out of your lungs take a nice normal breath back in again this was meant to find you to a today and it's found you for a reason now as you're walking through the most beautiful snowy landscape you're not feeling cold because you've got a nice warm coat on and it's giving you a big hug you've got a nice furry hood you've got a nice hat your hands are in gloves you've got big boots on and you're just walking through this beautiful white snow landscape there's trees in a different distance that's dusted in snow. There's no other footprints. It's all pure snow. You can feel it crunching beneath your feet as you move forward. You're just following a path that you know is normally there, but you're kind of guessing where it is. But you feel good. In the distance, there's a bench. And as you're walking towards that bench, you're just taken in the muffled sound of snow there's no echoes there's no birds it's just silent and peaceful and wonderful the sky is blue the sun is shining and you are having the most magical moment in this winter landscape now as you sit down on the bench open your eyes and you will be drawn towards the tarot deck that has a message here for you today. We've got pick a card read number one. Pick a card read number two. Pick a card read number three. Private readings are always available. Third party situation. Are they going to break up? Will they get rid of the third party and come towards you? What do you need to know? Welcome to Hope Tarot Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. I live in a little seaside town and I absolutely love reading tarot for you. Third party situation. Welcome to your reading. Are they going to break up with the third party? Are they going to come towards you? Are they going to put the third party in their place and remove them from this whole situation? That's what we're looking at today. I'm going to start by pulling some charms. The charms are little direct messages to you from the universe. I see in the comments when they mean something and boy when they hit they hit. So within a circle of protection what do the charms have to say today? have a look we have an x or a kiss at the end of a message we have an n an anchor we have a unicorn pair of dolphins, a little tiny key, and a flower. So I'm going to do a third party situation spread. What you need to know is the person in the middle of all this going to break up with the third party? The third party is never you. Whatever you think your technical term is, it's never you. I'm always looking at your connection with your person. And the person furthest away from you is always called the third party. In my readings, I don't need to make it overly technical. It is what it is. So, 
Are they going to break up with the third party to come towards you? What is the information that you need to know today to help you find your pathways forward? going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Down this side is you. You're always on my left hand side. Down the middle is your person. Yeah. There's the one that we pulled when we were splitting the deck. And then down this side is the third party. When I saw this card come out for the third party, the thing in my head was like, what's mine is mine. What is mine is mine. Um, third party is not going to give up easily. And if they do, they're gonna, they, they want what is theirs. They, what is theirs is theirs. They're very stubborn. So let's have a look. I'm going to talk through the spread. Sometimes I pick things up instantly, but I'm going to talk through the spread. What do you need to know today? What messages are here for you? In the recent past, the third party has been wanting to make changes, has been feeling really let down by situations. It feels like the third party has come into your relationship Um and it feels, it feels like you you should be happy, like, but you're not. And I'm not saying that, oh, you, you should be happy. I'm looking at your and your person's relationship and it should be in a happy place, but it isn't. And that's because of this third party person, whoever they are, whatever their role is. It feels like your person's not really interested in them. But the third party is wants what's what's theirs. And it feels like the third party within this situation is the one that made the moves on your person. And it feels like it may be a situation where you kept telling your person that this third party was interested in them. Um, and it does feel like a, the third party is a romantic connection rather than any other kind of third party situation. It feels like... Uh, Oh, my goodness. I don't like this third party. I'm really like, my energy is just sunk. And I can see you and your person. And, and what I see from the both of you is you should be living this happy little life together. But the both of you have been hurt and damaged by this. And it should should never have happened should never have happened the third party was looking for a lover's connection but your person wasn't interested they had the king of wands and it's looking at you it's like i i feel like your person may have told you they only have eyes for you they only want to be with you they they love you they adore you they they see you they feel you but there's been mistakes made. I don't know if they actually crossed the line with the third party. I wouldn't be surprised if your person has never even had anything to do with them. But with the page of swords reversed, when someone comes out as the page of swords reversed, it's quite a deliberate act. It's them trying to bring about change in a very malicious way. And in their head, they've got it in their head that your person is their person and they want what they want and they're not going to give up what they think is theirs. And the thing is, it's, they're not, they've got no business here, you know. And I'm kind of thinking, maybe you should just send a third party this reading, like screen record this reading and send it to them because they shouldn't be in your relationship and it shouldn't be having the effect that it's having. And it's not fair. It's completely not fair. I'm not saying that your person's a completely innocent person, but I think they're quite naive. I think they're very naive to what other people want from them. I think 
It feels like your person's come from a place in life where they've really had to prove themselves. They may have had a bit of a bad reputation at some point and they're really having to prove themselves and they've hit the jackpot being with you and they think that they've hit the jackpot being with you and they can't believe that they're so lucky to have a relationship that they've never really seen anyone else have. It feels like there was a point in their life where everyone around them, the relationships were broken. They don't want this relationship with you to be broken. They want you to move forward together. But in the recent past, it's just been really hard, hasn't it? You've had the judgment card reversed in the recent past, which is, you know, stagnation. Um, and then we have the five of cups in the middle of you both. There's lots that needs to be left in the past. And this whole situation needs to be left in the past. But at the moment, that's not happening. Um, your person loves you so much. Your person loves you so much and they don't want you to abandon them. So, let's have a look. At the moment, you're not sure. You've got the two of cups reversed. You still really love your person. Um, you still you still really love them. You just don't feel particularly connected to them at the moment. Um, they've got the four of wands, which I'm just picking up as your relationship. Then we've got the knight of pentacles in the middle of you both. It's going to take a long time to repair the damage that's been done. Um, your person's got the four of wands. They want to be with you. They want to live with you. They want all of the good things with you. They want a marriage with you. If you're not married already, they want that. If, if you have been married with this person, they want blessings. But you're kind of in this place of you don't know whether to trust them, you don't know whether to believe them, you don't know if you want it anymore, you kind of really do deep down want to be with them and you can't imagine leaving in them, but it's just hard, isn't it? It's so hard. This situation that the third party has put you in is so hard. Um, and it's going to take time. And there's a lot here that needs to be left in the past, but it can't be less left in the past until you feel that there's been a shift to move forward. <clears throat> it's almost like you're taking each day as it comes and you don't want to do anything just yet. So the third party has the king of pentacles, they're money motivated. We've got the wheel of fortune in the middle of them both and it's reversed. Your person's not interested in them. And it feels like the third party now knows that they're not interested. I don't know if they're like blackmailing or they're 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 what they're looking for the money or they're looking for the next pot of money, but they want what they think is theirs and ugh, they just need to get lost, don't they? They just need to get lost, completely get lost. Um they're very much money motivated. And the thing is they look at what you two have and they want that. But what they don't realise is that they can have that, but it has to be with their own person. It can't be with somebody else's. No one can look at somebody else's relationship and think, I want that. So I'm going to steal one of them people and I'm going to have that magic. No, that magic's gone because it's that couple that had the magic, not not one not one of them. It was the both of them together that created that magic. And the both of you have that magic. And this person is very deluded in thinking that they can just recreate it. They can't. Maybe one day they'll have that, ma that magic with somebody else. But this, this reading is making me feel really drained. And I've got a feeling you're pretty exhausted. Your person's being quite optimistic, though. Your person is feels like they're trying to do all of the right things. They're trying to reassure you. But if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it, are you? Anyway, private readings are available if you'd like to book in. Do a 20-minute reading, pre-recorded. You can focus on one situation, but you can ask as many questions as you like about that one situation. And then because it's pre-recorded, you can um, watch it as many times as you want and come back to it in six months' time and watch it in a year's time for as long as you want access to it, it's there. Moving forward... 
we have the seven of pentacles reversed which is the card that came out when i was splitting the deck you've got the nine of wands reversed in the middle of you both and then you have the eight of wands reversed it feels like the both of you going ghost not on the world but it feels like people asking you what has been going on and you're like, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not talking about it. It's none of your business. Don't talk to anyone you don't want to. You don't owe anyone an explanation about anything. Um, it does feel like your person's done nothing wrong, but you'll, you'll know. The Seven of Pentacles reversed. If this was a workplace thing, your, your person is going to have to move jobs. They're going to have to abandon certain things that have been happening. If you're both thinking about relocation, that's not a bad thing. Um, a fresh start, a complete fresh start wouldn't be a bad thing. The nine of wands reversed in the middle of you both is the both of you getting through it, but you can have to get through it together and not apart. And that's really hard and it feels like the both of you having to come to with some kind of understanding or agreement to get on the same page again and fight this as a team instead of it feels like you push your person out to deal with it when you should both be dealing with it. Um, the Ace of Wands reversed and the High Priestess reversed for this person moving on. They're then going to be distracted by another King of Wands somewhere else. Hopefully that one's not attached, but who knows? Um, yeah, it just feels like their energy is going somewhere else. Your person's completely cutting off from them, um, which is not a bad thing. It's a very, very good thing. So if you were here with me, what questions would you have? The third party is going to be gone. And I don't think the third party is going to be coming back again because they didn't get anything from this. All they've done is they've caused you a lot of upset. Don't let them win. Don't let them push you both apart, you know. Um, I'm going to do a nine card spread. I want to see the long term future of this connection of you and your person. I'm going to ignore the third parties. Let's take them off the table I've done that through gritted teeth i don't like them if i don't like them i don't like them you know so nine card spread the long-term future for you and your person what do you need to know gonna split the deck into four four elements four seasons most importantly for angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind gonna lay them out yeah. i think you're gonna be relocating or moving house or moving job or something like that we've got the two of ones in the center of the nine card spread which is lovely Yeah, you're both going to get the fresh start that you need to get. You've got the King of Wands reversed. This whole situation has made your person really quite angry. Um, not at you, just at life. Uh, the Six of Swords is the both of you moving on together and leaving the baggage behind. And there's quite a lot from the past that the both of you need to leave behind so that you can have a happy future together. The World reversed. There's just going to be a few delays on where you're going next and what you're doing next. The Temperance reversed feels like you and your person temporarily being at loggerheads on agreeing where you're going before you actually go. Um, but you're going to eventually get on the same page. You've got the two of wands in the middle, which is the both of you making plans for the future and then defending and standing your ground for what you want together. The five of wands reversed. There's an element here of don't want to get drawn into other people's drama. We want to keep ourselves isolated for a bit. Not isolated, but in privacy. You're going to be seeking privacy. And then we've got the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords, which is a brand new start for the both of you. And it's going to be your person is going to be the driving force here. And it's your person is 
going to get back to communicating very clearly with you and the both of you are going to be really happy together it's almost like your person taking you back under their wing again but then I'm looking at that thinking you've always been under their wing you just haven't been feeling it it's been feeling a pretty cold um an ace of swords your person still really fancies you so much uh, when they say that you are the only person for them they really do mean it They've never met anyone that's turned them on as much as what you do. And that is in everything. When you argue, it makes them feel tingly. And when, you know, when you're not feeling great, it makes them feel sad. And they want to make you feel better, but they don't always know what to do. You've got a good egg. Whoever the third party is, they're just a load of nonsense. Absolute no nonsense. Are they going to break up? They weren't even together, like Jesus. So I don't mean to say that, but there we go. Some people just bring it out if you don't know. Some people just bring it out. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so you aim to take you anyway. And thank you so much for being here today. Welcome to Hope to Have a Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. I live in a little seaside town and I absolutely love reading tarot for you. Welcome to your third party situation, tarot spread. Are they going to break up with the third party? Are they going to remove the third party? Whatever the third party is, is your person going to put an end to it and come towards you? So within a circle of protection, let's pull some charms. With the charms, they're direct messages to you from the universe. What do you need to know? We have Pisces, big feelings, a little black squirrel, someone likes playing with their nuts, they always have their hands down there don't they, anyway we have grapes, we have a cloud, a thought cloud, we have a purple and white clam, we have a strawberry. Looks like it could be a carrot, but it's not. We have a bolt. It reminds me of um, black death metal music. Um, can't think of the band. What's the band that begins with black? Black Sabbath, is it? Something like that. I don't know. We have a bunny rabbit. So you have a bunny rabbit and a squirrel. And we've got all these black things coming out. It's... It feels like rock. We have a, a rocking, yeah, it's rock, a rocking unicorn. Someone in their time has been to a lot of music concerts and festivals, headbanging, probably got all the band t shirts and everything. So that's a message there. If they don't connect, this probably isn't your reading. Um, so. What you need to know about your third party situation is your person going to put an end to the third party nonsense and come towards you. That's what we want to know. Find you your pathways forwards. What messages are here for you today? I kind of don't want to stop shuffling. The cards feel really nice. I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels offering us a circle of protection. So we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Down this side is you. Down the middle is your personal. Oh, they're the king of cups. So they're the Pisces, probably. They've got big feelings. And this side is the third party. They're coming out the Queen of Wands reversed. Are we surprised? Probably a mother-in-law. <clears throat> or that interfering kind of person. So there's a lot of pain going on between you both at the moment. You've got the Ten of Swords in the middle of you both at the moment. Which is it can't carry on the way that it is. There needs to be change happening. Um, and it feels like you just need them to take a bit of a step back. Because it's been really upsetting. Um, whoever this third party is. It feels like it could be a family member, friend, whatever. It doesn't necessarily feel like a romantic thing. Could be an ex. Could be an ex. Could be an ex. There we go. 
Phew. Right. My goodness. Your person loves you. Your person really, really loves you. You're the one that your person wants to be with. And if you need to take a break, you need to take a break. If you need to step back. Because I know things are really painful. And I know things in the recent past have been really confusing. And you've been trying to do everything that you possibly can do to fix it. And it's not your job to fix it. It's your person's job to fix it. It feels like at the moment they may be a bit quiet with you. But it's because they're putting a the third party in their place. Whoever the third party is, whoever this interfering old witch is, I'm feeling a little bit sassy. Feeling a little bit sassy. So, it's one of them, isn't it? It's one of them. Let's talk through the spread. We have the Queen of Wands reversed for the third party. Interfering, pokes the nose in everyone's business, total absolute gossip. We want everyone... They they kind of feel that they're doing good, but they're not. They don't read the room. They don't... It's all about them. All about information sharing. You've got the Three of Cups reversed in the middle of them both, which is selfishness, gossip. Ugh. I don't like this third party. But your person doesn't like them either. Your person had love for them at one point. If it's their mother, they're always going to have love for them in one way or another. But it feels like they're moving to a point where they can't put up with this nonsense anymore. Are they going to fully break up with a parent of theirs? I don't know. Are they going to distance themselves? Yes, very much so. If this is an ex, they're going to push them out as much as they can. If they have responsibilities with the ex, it's going to be quite hard, but they're going to do what it takes to push them out um it feels like this third party is very much a gossip they like telling everyone 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 else's business but if we for a moment spoke what their business was oh my goodness they'd probably cry their heart out it feels like they're very good at throwing insults but they can't take it your person is the king of cups they love you so so much so so much for a long time they felt like they were a complete letdown in life in general and they're not at all they've got a bit of a dark side to them but it's a nice dark side it's um if you're on the same wavelength it's a very nice dark side you've had the ten of wands reversed in the past you've had the devil in the middle of you both the chemistry between you both is absolutely banging when you're both getting on really well and you're just into the same thing and i'm just like well this is amazing it feels like whoever this Queen of Wands is, they feel in, very threatened by your presence because it feels like you're the little bit of magic that came into your person's life. And your person only has eyes for you. They're only listening to you. They fancy you. They want to be with you. They feel that they can't help it. They're, they're magnetised. It's, it's just wonderful how they feel about you. But it's also really overwhelming it's really overwhelming especially if you've never really experienced that kind of passion and desire and feeling and overwhelming flooding of emotion from someone it can be really very overwhelming and it can take your breath away and it feels like you were doing everything that you could to appease whoever this queen of wands reversed is and there is absolutely nothing that you can do to appease them there's nothing that you can do to stop them gossiping they're going to gossip anyway so you may as well do the things that you want to do because they're going to make up something or they're going to what they're going to twist things or oh, they're just nonsense Honestly, they're just nonsense, but things can't carry on the way that they've been, can they? At the moment, you've got the strength card. You love your person so much. And there's something about your person that you see and you experience that no one else does, or very few people does. This Queen of Wands reversed does. Their mum or ex or whoever they are, this interfering person, they know that your person's got a soft side to them. 
but as I said you've got the ten of swords in the middle of you both at the moment it doesn't mean that it's over it just means that there's a completion needs to be had here because the pain that's been in the middle of you both has just been horrendous you have a lot of love and compassion for your person and forgiveness for your person but your person's being a little bit quiet at the moment because they've got the four of swords so they're being quiet they're just taking stock they're I think they think, oh, if I just step back a bit, then you'll be okay. They feel like they're giving you a good, healthy space, and it's not, is it? It's quite painful. So that's a misunderstanding on their part that you need a bit more reassurance and you need to be on the same page together. Uh, although this is a third party situation that they have to sort out on their own. The third party has got the knight of coins reversed and the five of coins reversed in the middle of them both your person's not talking to them your person doesn't want anything to do with them they're locking them out they're shutting them out they're they're gone cold turkey on them they just they just don't want no but with the knight of coins reversed for the third party they're trying a different way around they may be trying to get people to contact your person it almost feels like your person wants to throw their phone in the bin because they're like if I just throw my phone in the bin none of these people can drag me into all of their nonsense anymore but also if they throw their phone in the bin then how do they communicate with you if you're because it doesn't feel like you live together or maybe you do and it's just feeling separate at the moment so they're they maybe they well, they could just get a new phone and change their phone number and change their accounts. But that's a lot of effort, isn't it? And it feels like there's quite a lot of people that this Queen of Wands reversed can get doing their business. So extended family, friends, family, friends. I just said the same thing twice. But like family and friends and family, friends. Just done it again. I'm just going to be quiet. I can't be quiet. I'm a tarot reader. We have to talk. Um, yeah, the Four of Swords. Your person's just trying. It's almost like they're waiting for the next battle. But I think the battling is over. I think the battling is over. Um, it feels like there's going to be somebody mutual. Who is going to tell the third party to sit down and be quiet? That's come out before recently as well. If you've seen another reading I've done lately with that exact thing come out, then there's there's a message there. It's important. Moving forward, the third party has the tower. They've got the temperance reversed. Your purse is going to cut them off. Kind of feels like when I think, oh, I'm going to sling my phone out. Yeah, may not exactly be that, but it's something about breaking communication. The temperance reversed is a lack of communication in the middle of them both. Um, and the tower is someone else is also going to tell this third party, you've got to stop it, you've got to just leave them both alone. Just because they don't support your relationship doesn't mean that they have the right to break anyone up. Um, and your person's going to be set free from it. And then your person's got the two of cups. <laughs> got the knave of cups in the middle of you both. And I'm like, yay, yay, the two of cups. You get back in your groove again. But you've got the knight of cups reversed of, I want to be open to it and I want to enjoy it and I want to feel it. But I just know this third party is going to pop up again. Um, I want to be receptive to it. Uh, they're both if you just really love each other I think you should get a room together I think my cat's having a fight I better go and have a look let me know if you heard that in the comments yep my cat was um, marching up and down the living room windowsill shouting at a cat outside always saying don't make me come out there don't make me she's got no intention of going out there but apparently not allowed in her front garden <laughs> when she's sunbathing on the radiator um 
the two of cups your person loves you very much it's going to take a while to get over the trauma of this but there is an end to it the the pain is coming to an end and the knave of cups in the middle of you both it feels like you're both in the very near future stepping into a world where you're both focusing on the both of you again and you're going to be slowly slowly i don't know whether to believe it i don't know whether i should but you'll sink into it you'll find it you'll feel it um and it's true and it's love and it's amazing and i don't have anything else to say because the third party is going to be put in their place they're gonna they've they've lost all power anyway over all of this they don't have a say who your person is in a relationship with so tentatively enjoy it your person's going to come back around again so they're just being quiet at the moment because they're trying to deal with everything but they think you're amazing and they're making these changes with the third party for you for you so take each day as it comes and see what happens and you have to come back and let me know in the comments if because it feels like you'd be going on a really nice date together if you watch this one upload it you they may plan something really massively romantic in a weird weird way for valentine's day which is five six weeks away if you're watching this as a timeless reading six weeks from now they could be planning a very romantic date for you uh, for the both of you together and just before it you're gonna think what are they up to i think that's what the knight of cups reversed is what are they up to what are they up to they're planning something pretty special that's what they're doing gonna wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so you ain't to take her anyway thank you so much for being here with me today Welcome to Hope to Have a Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. I live in a little seaside town and I absolutely love reading tarot for you. Third party situation, welcome to your reading. I'm going to start by pulling some charms. The charms are little direct messages to you. What do you need to know within a circle of protection? We have an X, which is a kiss at the end of a message. We have a unicorn. A little pink flower. We've got two stars. Two stars. A key. There we go. Can it focus? Ah, chemistry, and a U. U turn. That's what a U bend, a U turn. You know when people do a U turn in the road. So I'm going to do a third party situation. Is your person going to get rid of the third party? We don't want anyone to murder anyone, but are they going to remove the third party from this situation so that the both of you can be happy together? What do you need to know? What messages are here for you today? Where are your pathways forward? All of the things. I will apologise now. If you suddenly hear my cat screaming in the background, she's all up the bum because of the cat in the front garden and it's cold, so she's not going to go out there. She's, she never goes in the front garden anyway, but apparently you're not allowed to walk in her front garden even though she doesn't want it. So she's been marching up and down the living room windowsill screaming. So I'll just be quiet. Be quiet. And you know what she's saying. She's going, don't make me come out there. Don't make me come out there. She's not going out there. I feel like opening the bedroom window and just going, she's not going to come out. She's not going to come out. Do what you want in her garden. She ain't coming out. If you've got a pet, let me know. So what is going on in your third party situation? I've got my witter in <laughs> out of the way. Oh my goodness. OK, 
going to split the deck into four four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Right. Down this side is you. Down the middle is your person. Oh, they're being so half-hearted about everything. And they're all coming out reversed. I do top tail shuffle. And I read reversals because it gives me an extra layer of information. And this whole situation is upside down. Um, some people don't like reverse readings. It's just the way I was taught. I was taught how to read them when, when I was 19 by this really old, lovely, wise lady. And I kind of took her wisdom <laughs> rather than... I know people's opinions on tarot change over the years. Like it used to be you had to read reversals, whereas now it's much more of an option. Um, and it used to be that you could only have a tarot deck if you were recommended one by a reader or if it was gifted to you. Um, and if someone gifted you a deck, they had the responsibility of teaching you. So, yeah, all of the rules have changed. It all, all changes over time, doesn't it? But it's all about keeping those important rituals in place and it's showing respect. And if you have rituals and boundaries and guidelines and, and everything, it, it reminds you. I'm delaying the reading because you're nervous. You're nervous. What are, oh, my goodness. Can the cat start screaming now so that we can just delay it a little bit more? I don't know who this sad party is. I don't know who this sad party is. But your person's in the middle of all of it. Your person right now. Your person right now is the Six of Swords reversed in the middle of everything. And it's this half-hearted, half-arsed energy but what are they doing? Are they coming towards you? Are they coming towards the third party? Are they going on in their own direction? Are they getting out of bed? Are they going to work? What is it that they're doing with their life right now? What is it that they're doing in their life right now? That's what I want to know. Because everything is half-hearted. And I'm just going to focus on your person for a moment because out of this whole spread, it's your person that annoys me the most. So we've got the page of swords reversed in the past. This person's very good at letting you down. They're very good at letting the third party down. They're very good at letting work down. They're very good at putting things in their diary and taking them out again. They're very good at standing people up. They're very good at making promises that they don't keep. They're very good at saying, I'm going to change. I'm going to be different. I want things to be different, but they don't actually make them changes. Sometimes when they make promises, they make promises because they want you to see the best in them, but they think that it's a bit of an empty promise, but they do it because they want you to see good in them, which is a bit of a manipulation, I guess. And then other times they just outright make promises that they know for a fact they're not going to keep and they have no intention. It's the kind of the same thing, isn't it? I've just described the same thing. So what we're saying is your person makes a lot of promises to a lot of people without following through on, on anything. It's almost like when they set their alarm clock in the morning, they set their snooze off 10 times because it's so half-hearted. Are we getting out of bed? Are we not getting out of bed? Are you going to have breakfast? Are you not going to have... Are you getting dressed today? Like, what are you doing? What are they doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? With this half-hearted person, you can't have a future with a heart a heart half heart so I've got myself so annoyed I'm tongue-tied you can't have a future with someone who makes promises that they don't keep you can't make plans with someone who's just going to keep letting you down it's very hard and whoever this third party is they're kind of in the same situation as you because when I'm looking at all the cards it's like they're in the same situation as you it's very similar. You've recently had the Two of Wands reversed. They've recently had the Temperance reversed. Which is very similar. 
it's partnership issues it's feeling pulled between lots of different things what what you want and what you can get are two different things and it's like looking to the future and hoping for the best in the middle of you both at that point was the ace of cups and in the middle of them both at that point was the sun and the common person in the middle of all this is your person and it showed me that these two things either side of your person are promises and so the both of you have been waiting for the future to come based on the promises of the person in the middle of all this <clears throat> it's hard isn't it it's hard it's difficult because they know they've always known what to say at the moment they're the six swords reversed You've got the Ten of Wands reversed in the middle of you both. You've, you've got the eight, eight of Cups reversed. You know you need to move on from this situation, but you're not. You're kind of delaying it. You kind of... Because they wash in and out like the tide. At the moment, they're washed out. And it's like, well, are they going to come back in again? And if they're going to come back in again, are they going to want me? Because this person has the ability to make you feel amazing there must be something good about this person to have two people who are very interested in having a future with them and is your person going to break up with the third party or remove the third party no and is there just one third party is there a fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth party like what what is this a case of when someone's got a phone in their hand and they're just scrolling, they're just swiping, next, 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 and they're talking to whoever they're talking to. Really, at that point, they're just having a relationship with their phone. They're not having a relationship with a person. They're just picking up their phone and going, right, okay, make me feel good. Now, who is going to make me feel good? And what do I need to say to get someone to make me feel good? And whoever it is on the other side of the screen, it doesn't really matter. And if this is your reading, I am so sorry. And if this is not your reading, you'll be feeling... You'll be feeling it. You'll be going, no, this is not, this does not sound like my person. If it doesn't sound like your person, it's not your person. But if you're nodding or if you kind of think, okay, yeah, I get it. At the moment, the High Priestess reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed for the third party. Um, the Ten of Wands reversed is, it's kind of like this really heavy connection at the moment. It's the heavy weight, the burdens of, you know, your person's washed out with the tide, but they've also washed out with the their party. So I'm like, well, where are they then? What is it that they are doing at the moment? If they're not doing what they need to do for the both of you, who are they doing it for? They're doing it for themselves, of course, but who with? Who's catering to their needs at the moment? Oh, my goodness. And you've got the Eight of Cups, and she's got, if she's a she, whoever they are, they have got the High Priestess reversed. You've got the Eight of Cups reversed. You know that you need to disconnect from this and move on and make the changes that you need to make. And they know that this is not right. They know that there is people in the middle of them both. And they know, but they refuse to look at it. They don't want to look at it. <clears throat> they don't want to see it. They don't. They don't want to let go, but you don't want to let go either, but you know that you should. You know that your happiness is elsewhere. And as much as this person has made you happy in the past, they've never delivered on it. They've never delivered on it. And you deserve so much better. And the third party deserves so much better. And you probably hate me for saying that, but it's true. Like the player in the middle of this is this person this person they're not your person they're their own person they're not anyone's person although lots of people think that they are the the queen of cups reversed in the middle of them both is an emotional upset but also another person moving forward you've got the queen of wands reversed and then you've got the five of pentacles in the middle of you both and then your person's got the six of pentacles reversed. Um, it feels like you being frozen out. With that queen of wands reversed, I'm kind of looking at you at that point, thinking, 
are you going to be posting something or contacting people to let them know that it almost feels like going through contacts and saying I'm dating them as well to lots of different people it feels like your person pushing you away and you you wanting to put a spotlight on it there's a way of doing that in a way that isn't revengeful it's just in a way of not wanting anyone else to get hurt if you're going to do that from a place do it from a good place do it from a a place of you don't want anyone else to get hurt by this person don't do it from a vengeful place i'm going to ruin that person's life and i'm going to be nasty to the third party no everyone who is connected to this person are all in the same boat and the things that you're feeling they're feeling and you've got a lot in common. And if anything, you could probably set up a nice little Discord group and be the support system for each other and like a red light awareness of danger when someone's washing in and washing out. Um, you can turn this situation into something good. You can walk away from it. If you do something vengeful, then all you do is make yourself look bad. You make yourself look like someone who was hung up and they're just jealous and stuff but if you come at it from a good heart or if you just choose to walk away from it you walk away with your head up high and if this is not your reading this isn't your reading it feels like the third party is gonna move off in a different direction they've got the six of wands they've got better times ahead um and they've got the six of cups in the middle of them both I don't know if you and a third party feel it kind of feels like you and a third party are going to have a conversation to be honest even if it's just an exchange of messages um and something good will come from that something good will come from that the queen of wands reverse can sometimes be a bit of an information sharer and most of the time it's like annoying or oh, the person that's going to be annoyed by it is your person in the middle like oh my goodness why did you have to go and say all that but everyone else around would be like I needed to hear that I needed to hear that um I'm just thinking if you were here with me I'm going to do a Celtic cross let's do a Celtic cross What do you need to know for you moving forward? You know you need to let go. You don't want to let go. Private readings are always available. If you book a 20-minute pre-recorded reading with me, we go through one situation and all of the questions that you have to do with that situation. It will find you a pathway forward, give you the insight and guidance that you need. And the reading is with me. So that's available on hopetaradashdaily.co.uk. But if this resonates, take it and run with it and take something good from it. Because I know this is a hard read and I know it's really hard. And if anything, I wish you were sat here with me. Because then we could just have coffee. No, we can't have coffee for the rest of the day. I'm already a little bit hyper. But we, we could have chocolate cake. And we could sit down and we could talk about it and we could pull the cards and you can just moan and rant and tell me all about it. And we can put on Netflix and we can hang out, you know, but you're not here. You're, you're there and I want you to be OK. So it's difficult, isn't it? You're not on your own. You're not on your own at all. The Two of Pentacles is you where you're at at the moment. I just got chills down the tops of my arms. The King of Cups, but it's the female king within this deck. This deck is a Mystic Moments deck and has female male kings. Um, the King of Cups is unconditional love. But this is you taking back the love. It's you going to go, I've got enough love for me. And the Two of Pentacles, what are you going to do now? You've got options here. You've got choices and decisions. You just cut ties and walk away and let him have this mess to himself. If it is a man um, or a woman or whoever they are in the middle of all this, are you just going to cut ties, walk away? Are you going to do something beneficial to other people? Are you going to communicate with third party? You've got choices here. 
Just don't do anything that's going to bring negativity onto you. The Six of Swords. Now, that's the card that they've got at the moment. Now, with my Celtic Cross, I don't do reversals because it's all about the card placement. And But it did come out of the card reverse. So it's showing me there's resistance here. There's, I know I need to move on from this, but I don't want to. I know that I've tried to move on from this before and I've just gone right back in. Now, the Six of Swords is your angel guides. They're trying to guide you forward. They're trying to guide you through this ocean that is all over the place at the moment but there is karma water there is new land ahead of you and you will get there but it's hard you get travel sickness you get seasickness if you're on tiktok and you're watching this one i upload it have you come across the um the nine month cruise like i'm learning all these things about cruising and Jake's passage that I never knew anything about like oh my goodness how do they cope with that how are they going to cope with that if you're not on TikTok oh my goodness the algorithms that you land in is just crazy now we're delaying the reading again aren't we when we start waffling it's because we're delaying the reading you're being guided in the right direction you've got the star this is your time for healing. This is your time for doing what is right for you. And this is your time to trust in the universe. Trust in your angel guides. They want what's best for you. Your angel guides always wants what's best for you. The reason that this, the universe has made this relationship so hard and wishy-washy, because it's not the relationship for you. You don't need to be with somebody who's going to be doing all of the things that they do. This person needs to be single. They need to have the internet taken away from them. Um, and you deserve true love. But first of all, you need to rest and you need to heal and you need to start disconnecting. And that's a process. We don't just go, OK, flick a switch. I don't feel anything anymore. No, our feelings come in and out. Our feelings are all over the place. One day you'll miss them terribly and you want to hear from them. And the next day you'll think, I'm so glad I'm not anywhere near them. And it's a process. Start journaling. Write it in a journal. So at the end of the healing process, you just burn it. Give it back to the universe. So the page of cups is behind you. And that was the hope that this connection was going to turn into something real. The six of wands, which is interesting because the third party's got the six of wands up there. So you are going to get to the point of going in your own direction. You've got rewards ahead of you. You've got a pathway forward. You've got good relationships in your future. You've got you know, people around you that really love you and support you. So don't do anything that's going to make you feel embarrassed. Keep your head up high. I know sometimes we just want to take a sledgehammer and smash someone's car up, but we can't do that because they're not worth a criminal record. They're not worth our mugshot being in the newspaper. They're not worth being out there in our pyjamas wanting to do that more than anything and them filming it and posting it on the internet not that this has ever happened to me because it never would because I just wouldn't do that doesn't mean that I haven't thought about it but also you have to think about the consequences don't you so don't do things like that get your head up high cry it out into a journal write it all down <clears throat> and then burn it so it can never be used against you um Keep your feet on the ground because you've got people around you that really love you and they really respect you. And yeah, this is a shitty situation, but we all we all end up in a bit of a thing with someone at some point, you know, and we all get out of it again. I mean, I'm 44. I've, you know, I've been on this earth quite a long time. I started dating when I was 16, probably a little bit too young, but you know. We all find ourselves in a situation at some point where we know we have to walk away. We don't want to, but we kind of do. And then it's all part of experience and it's all part of life, isn't it? How do you deal with a breakup without a criminal record? Don't learn the hard way. 
So you've got the world, the secret underlying question. You've got a whole world out there for you. You've got so many opportunities. World full of people, world full, world full of land, world full of jobs, world full of re relationships, world full of opportunities for earning money, a world full of everything. This person isn't the centre of the world. They want to be, but they're not. <clears throat> the five of pentacles yeah that's the timing on this and it's and it's here it's not that far away because you've got it in the celtic cross you've got it in the third party spread as well it's hard that five of pentacles walking away from something is hard because we feel like we're losing everything but it's a transition it's when we go from one job to the other we have quite a cushy job and then we take on another job and we hope it's going to be better but we have that wonky transition period where we kind of spend every day thinking we've done the wrong thing but then we get settled in and then suddenly we have all of these new opportunities open up and that is what the five of pentacles is at the moment it feels like letting go of this toxic person is a very hard thing to do because you'll be on your own again but you won't be on your own again because there's a world full of people and you're not on your own you're not on your own at all got the queen of swords when the queen of swords is done she's done and then we have the king of cups by removing the wrong people from your life you will open up your path for the right people to find you and there's nothing worse than the right person finding you and you're busy with the wrong person the right person you're going to stumble across them on your new adventures when the queen of swords is done she's done when she's on her new path when she's open to everything again that's when you're going to find true love and that's going to be true love but the thing is when you find them you're going to be a whole person that doesn't need them but you'll want them you'll want them around and they'll have so much respect for you for who you are for how you've carried yourself through this so that's what i have for you i hope that it helps in some way i really do you can have to come back and let me know in the comments how you get on because i'm invested i'm invested i want you to keep your head up high i want you to believe in yourself and i want you to only accept relationships that are good for you and walk away from the ones that are bad and when you get that first feeling of should i walk away from this that is your angel guy saying bloody walk away from this but we have to we have to go yeah but do i want to but then it feels good until it doesn't feel good and then it feels good and then it doesn't feel good you know what you need to do. It's not going to be easy. And you'll have a wobble, but you'll be okay. You've got a long life ahead of you. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so your angels take you on your way. And thank you so much for being here with me today. If you've made it to this point, you're now part of my secret purple heart gang. I hope you're doing well. I'm feeling so much better. I've been on antibiotics and I think they worked. I think they actually worked. I was going to put a purple heart in at the end of my pick a card reading yesterday, but I did and then I just whinged a lot, so I deleted it. I thought I don't need to put that out into the universe. <laughs> I'm feeling much better today. I'm filming and sort my clients out and trying to tame my cat who's mad at random things because she's cold and grumpy um i hope you're doing well i hope this year so far has been good on it it's like is it the eighth today we're like eight days in i hope it's good um i hope that this year is a very good and prosperous year for you when it comes to wealth health and finances and love I think I said that wrong, but there we go. So what do I have to talk about? What have I been doing? I've just been ill. I've been so ill. I don't really have anything to talk about other than uh, I was ill and I got up and I went back to bed and I got up and I went back to bed and I went got up and I went back to bed and I lost track of time and I didn't upload for about four days. So there goes my Hope Tower daily out of the window. <laughs> I'm going to have to redeem myself. Um, but yeah, I'm making good changes, I think, in my life at the moment. I've been making choices and decisions that I hope are good for me. 
And I think that's all that we can do, isn't it, in life? So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it, especially with the four-day break. <laughs> I'm back. Let me know where you are. Let me know if you've got sassy little diva pets as well. Um, Rosie's been marching up and down the windowsill today, yelling at a cat in the garden. She's got no intention of going out because it's really cold. It's so cold. Um, she's got no intention of going out there to sort it out. But she's mad. She could be mad about it. It's like, oh, you windowsill warrior. Come on in. Get in. Get back in. Not that she was out, but, you know, get away from the window. You're an embarrassment. It's at the front of the house where everyone's walking past. So, anyway, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying warm. If you're in a part of the world where it is warm, I'm so envious. We need some heating. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection and I will see you soon.